know he's gonna bring it up, so I'm gonna say it. Yeah, I sucked dick for a thousand bucks once while I was with him because I couldn't afford taking care of him and my fucking daughter. But at least I wasn't the one who got caught while my kids were sleeping in the other fucking room. He was getting domed up by a dude in our fucking bathroom. And I'm pretty sure he fucked them too because there was a condom there. And I know for a fact he might have fucked them because we fucked dudes together. Whatever, bitch. Fuck you, you fucking fag. Fuck you, you fucking fag. Fuck you, you dumbass bitch. That's what you do. Oh, because right? I fucked you with my dildo, right? And you loved it. You fucking nutted everything. That's everywhere, why you bitch. said you wouldn't fucking say that shit, right? You said you, you would never fucked that. What it do, what it is, y'all already know what time it is. It's Casey the Redfield Life. We're back at you fellas again with that heat. And y'all already know what's gonna be that heat forever. That volcano lava. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck, holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down to the game. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, piping high status, you're gonna get it down your phone into your ear or ear candy game. And remember, if you wanna holler at me, shoot the shit, you know, comment and whatever, it don't matter. You know, get at me back. You know, if I got time to return your comments or whatever, ask your questions, I'm going to do that. But if you want a video topic of your choice, a video of your cho of your choice, a dating, you know, dating advice or whatever, <clears throat> consultation, drop a donation, go to my about section. You'll see how to get at me over there. Everything's over there. It's unlimited. Just holler at me. I'm all ears. And remember to keep the likes up. Keep me going through the YouTube algorithm, family. We need that 1,000 subscribers. We need that 1,000 subscribers. Let's go. That's my goal is to push to 1,000. And I need you fellas to help me. I'm giving you these videos, right? So help me out. Remember, I'm ready to talk to the future subscribers. So return to subscribe. I'm ready to talk to everybody. Let's go. Let's get to it. <clears throat> He's turned out. <laughs> now she doesn't respect him. <laughs> He's turned out like a motherfucker. And before I get started, you know, whatever your sexual preference is, fellas, is your sexual preference. That's on you. I'm just here bringing forth the storyline. This video was sent to me. I'm going to drop it because it got something to do with masculinity. It got something to do with a man and um, his standards, you know, and the way he stand in life and the way he's viewed in life. So I'm going to speak on it. If it didn't have nothing to do with that. Because this right here is a man that's trying to proclaim a man, but he's hiding in the closet. You know, and I don't knock no one's sexual preference. Be who you are. Stop hiding who the fuck you are. You know, you don't need to deceive no one. It's, you don't need to do that. Just be who you are. We're living in the era now where you openly can be who you are. If you're gay, then you're gay. If you're not, not gay, then you're not gay. Just be who you are. Be yourself. But don't be running around here acting as if you're masculine. Acting as if you are in control of your relationship like you are a man. And you bending over, taking that pipe just like your woman. That just don't fly, man. Especially not around heterosexual men. Extreme heterosexual men. I must add, we ain't having it. Let's go. <clears throat> wow. I'm not here to disrespect anyone's sexual preference, but fellas. Once you allow your woman to penetrate you behind closed doors or penetrate you in general... Just period, you know what I mean? It will become the world's business. <laughs> she will out that, man. What makes you think, fellas, for one, what makes you think your woman will not out you? Hmm? If you proclaiming to be a masculine man and she's proclaiming to be that, well, I don't really know because she says she get down just and see this is what she do. But he's professing to be a masculine man. What makes you think she won't out you? She don't feel good penetrating you because she looked at you as dominance. But then you bending over telling her to do this and that. Come on, man. She don't feel right doing that. I'm quite sure she don't feel right doing that because this is not how she probably met this guy. But by him being so weak and being so strung out over her, he's willing to do whatever she's doing to appease her, to keep her happy, to keep her tame within the relationship. Baby, I got you. Type of shit. I got your back. I can be who you are. That's a turn off, fellas. Don't do that. 
Now, <clears throat> women live off their emotions. So if you get her emotional, then the cat's coming out the bag. <laughs> Once again, I'm not here to knock anyone's sexual preference. That's not my, you know, that's not what my channel is made of. It's not geared up for that. I don't do that, you know, to each his own. Now, if you want to gain a woman's respect in the utmost fashion, you must display masculinity and dominance. Never listen to what a woman say, you know, when she's in survival mode because it'll definitely destroy you. She'll tell you, this is the kind of man I want. I want a man to drop his guard. I want a man to show me a sensitive side. I want a man to show me um, his, probably his uh, metrosexual side or some, something like of that nature. You know, come on, dude. It's going to go against you. You don't do that. You must be that man to know that if you display any form of weakness, she's going to take advantage of it. You should know that. It's been going on for you know, centuries and it's going to keep going on. Why? Because it's her nature. The outer nine masculine man. Because she knows that she's up under a masculine man. She's supposed to be up under a dominant man. She knows that. So when you're doing something totally opposite, she knows something is off. Things ain't right. Because I'm supposed to be following his fucking lead. Yet still, he's following mine. What the fuck? Come on, fellas. <clears throat> Most men will do anything to please their woman. They even go this far. You see, oh well, boy, right? Are you gonna out me? Come on, dude. What the fuck you mean? Yeah, she's gonna out you. But then, like I said, they even go this far in order to keep the relationship together, not knowing that it's really over. Just by them displaying weak energy. It's over. As quick as you thought it started, it was already over. So you display that shit. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Check game. Having sex with multiple men right along with your woman is for sure some creepy ass shit. I'm just going to keep it real, you know. I'm sorry, YouTube, but hey, shit, this is for my subscribers. They know what it is. We, this is not real. It's not, it's not good. It's not right. It's not real. It's not being real. Not at all. I mean, no homo, but if you just think about it, if this dude and his woman is having a threesome on another man, then that means whoever is receiving a threesome, which is, you know, the other man, if he's receiving a threesome, you know what I'm saying, then he's actually nailing her man and her. Instead of it being the other way around, if I'm making any sense, you know, I don't know and I don't want to know, <laughs> but it's kind of diabolical like that. I don't know, you know. All I do know is that, <clears throat> all I do know is you can't expect your woman to respect you and you're bending over, taking meat just as well as her. It's not going to happen. She better lost respect for you, you know. She don't see you as a man. She see you as her, her friends, you know, you fruity. She see you as one of them. That's just what it is, man. You know, I mean, it's, you can't expect your woman to keep your personal business to herself when you're not man enough for her to keep anything about you confidential. I mean, come on. Once you open that Pandora box, fellas, shit will never be the same. <laughs> you get it? It will never be the same. A woman of any race will never keep her mouth shut for one. That's for one. They'll never keep their mouth shut. However, once you give her something to talk about, especially if it can torture her masculinity, she'll be the first to candidate to do it. She'll be the first candidate to do so. That's just what it is. If she's holding up to bring the greens to the table, then allow her to do so. She says she ate dick for a thousand dollars, so she's bringing in the money. If that's the type of woman you want, you you might as well throw on your pimp shoes, bitch. You definitely gonna bring in the money. That's what you're doing. Cool. You know, bring that shit in. I mean, that's what it is. Don't be out here hoeing up with her like a slut. As her man, you're supposed to be the collector. You know, that's just what it is. Flat out. You're supposed to be doing the pitching. Giving all the pipe to these chicks. You ain't supposed to be doing the catching like her. Receiving pipe. 
I mean, come on, dude. There's no respect there. He might as well dump the relationship off. Let it go to the wayside because it's already dead. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. And remember, a thousand is the goal, fellas. Let's go. Keep me going to YouTube algorithm. And always be a dominant and masculine man if you want to be seen as the head. You know, if you want to be viewed as an upright, articulate man, then you must be that upright, articulate man. Can't be switching and being he, she, she, he, fuck all that. But like I said, like this, share the subscribe. It's the message. <laughs> How? Let me love.